Hey everybody, welcome back to the weekly vlog. This week we're going to be talking about the upload schedule as always. Going to be talking about the site Twin Galaxies, as well as how I'll be learning a Metal Gear Solid PC speedrun soon. First for the schedule, today we are finishing off Sonic 3. Uh, nice and short playthrough. Tuesday and Thursday, Deadly Premonition is back. I, I had time to record it again with What a Geek. Wednesday and Friday at 3 p.m. we have King's Quest 6 with What a Geek and Brandon, and it may be one of the funniest Let's Plays we've ever done. Saturday and Sunday at 3 p.m. as well as Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. we have Crusader Kings 2. As always on Sunday at 4 p.m. we'll be streaming Crusader Kings 2, and I'll probably stream some speedruns as well as some Terraria at any random given days, so I'm sure I'll have more 6 p.m. stuff to upload throughout the week, likely Terraria. So I don't know if you've heard of Twin Galaxies, uh, you probably know what speedruns are and you probably know what speedrun.com is, but Twin Galaxies was kind of the uh, the main website before that in terms of uh, keeping people's records of speedruns and more importantly high scores, usually from like arcade and Atari era games, but more modern stuff as well. And uh, they've been restructuring, as far as I can tell from the outside, ever since uh, it was found out that it was really corrupt. Uh, there was a lot of records that weren't legit at all and were like verified, not by video, but by a referee. And it's like, you know, Billy Mitchell's fake Donkey Kong World high scores and a guy who faked scores at a whole bunch of Atari games, something Todd. Uh, everyone knows him as the guy who cheated at Dragster or whatever, faked times at Dragster on the Atari. But uh, yeah, they're under a lot more scrutiny now, so they've been fixing their system. So the other week when Sora was over, we were making jokes about Twin Galaxies. And I was saying like, I wonder, do they actually have runs for any of our games on Twin Galaxies? And we looked it up and they do, but their categories are all completely random. I just wanted to ramble about Twin Galaxies because I kind of want to make it a meme of, hey, look, everybody, I'm world record holder. And it's like I submitted to Twin Galaxies and I actually be like 50th place if I was on speedrun.com. Uh, but I actually can't submit my Silent Hill 2 runs to Twin Galaxies because they only have categories for PlayStation 2 and Xbox, not for PC for whatever reason. I can't find any page where you can get in contact with them to add more categories. And then if you try and submit it as if it were a PlayStation 1 or an Xbox One, because I was thinking, okay, I'll just submit it and say in the notes like, hey, this is actually PC, can you just make a PC category just so it gets to somebody? Um, you need to pick from preset categories for like, is it normal normal? Is it expert expert? Like, what's the difficulty? And it doesn't have any of them for the standard any percent, which is the main run for it on speedrun.com, which is amazing. And of course, I couldn't find any Anywhere where you could request that either. The most amazing part though is there's like six categories uh, regardless of console for like different combos of difficulties and stuff and yet there's not been a single submitted run of it so it's not like the runners in the past who have submitted runs uh, as they submit it, they made their own categories. No, no one's ever submitted a run. So if I could, if I could have them make a category for the standard category of the game, and if I could get them to make a PC category for it, because most people run on PC, um, I, I would gladly submit my time and be world record holder on Twin Galaxies. Uh, and on speedrun.com, I'm 20th place in my run. Um... I think it was like Sora looked up her run, which is Metal Gear Solid on PlayStation, and uh, she would be first place by an enormous margin because second or first place on there right now is like an hour and 55 minutes verified by referee. No, I think it said verified by video, but you're not allowed to see the video. Like, I guess the video is not up or you're not allowed to see it. Another amazing thing change that they made is uh, they no longer verify things by referee. Old ones by referee stay up, but they'll no longer verify by referee. However, they don't have moderators that check the videos. So if you were to submit a video and say, I have this time, it's entirely community driven. So here's the issue. Anyone can just go on your run and it'll just be a checkbox of yes or no. And it says like, is this run legit? And you can just vote on whether it's legit or not. This is the most easily exploitable thing in the world. If you're popular, all your fans are just going to go vote. 
and say, yeah, it's legit. I was there. I watched it live. Because, like, every speedrunner now streams. And so your viewers are just going to go vote that it's legit, regardless of whether or not it is, because the viewers might not know. And if people hate that streamer thing, come by and just say his run isn't legit, even if it is. Because your average viewer doesn't know if this shit is legitimate. It's really hard to know if a run is legitimate. You need to really know the game, which is why on speedrun.com, it's not a perfect system, but runners of the game, um, certain runners of the game, will be made into moderators for it, and they need to review the run to see if it's legit or not. So at least the people moderating it will probably have some level of expertise with the game and know what to look for in a not legit run, whether it be uh, footage that's been spliced or if they've hacked the game in some way, they'll have, to have some idea of what to look for rather than just vote, brigade, vote brigading by people who like or dislike the streamer. The whole system is baffling to me, but I kind of get the vibe that Twin Galaxies doesn't give a fuck because they seem to be going towards like esports now even though their website is a total mess to me and barely works. So, I don't know. I mean, if anyone watching this right now works at Twin Galaxies, I'd love to see you fix some of the stuff or maybe reach out to me, even though you probably won't because quite a few times in this vlog I have already trashed Twin Galaxies because genuinely, your system right now is awful. There's a reason no one submits shit to Twin Galaxies. Like, I think the most recent things I saw is like someone was submitting speedruns of Angry Birds in 2019 to Twin Galaxies. And I'm sure if you go on speedrun.com, it's way more up to date. No one uses Twin Galaxies for speedruns. And it's mostly because your system sucks. If I could submit to Twin Galaxies, I'd submit to both just because it's funny to me. Before we get on to Metal Gear Solid PC speedrunning news though, Patreon shoutouts for everybody pledging $10 and above over on Patreon. We have Gazali, Mad Librarian, Fiery Biscuit, Zandak, Taco Man, Play Bogart, Night Fury 15, The Jed Star, Jet Stream, Konk Donk, Sophia Or, Kill Rain, Wolf 20 KO, One Savvy Siren, Shauna, Tim, Kern Ketta, Lemonhead, Morgan, Disastra, Josh Brown, Emmeth, Thy Lord Castile, Annoying Wizard, The Dawes, Commander Unnamed, Infinity Wolf, Texas Boots, Captain Vix, and Hang Out with the Dices. Thank you so much for your continued support. Thank you also for using my affiliate links on uh, Amazon in the description, as well as Chrono.gg, where there's a daily game sale. Today's is Bunker Punks, which, from what my research into the game has shown me, it seems to be some kind of early access, uh, pixelated Doom style first person shooter and that's very fast paced and has a little bit of that visual style to it but it's kind of mixed with like an action rpg it makes me think a little borderlands i guess in that you're looting and you're getting guns of different stats and stuff and i think there's leveling up in it from what i can see and when you shoot enemies the little numbers come up to show you how much damage you've done so it looks like it might be really interesting it's 70 percent off it's normally 15 american dollars right now it's 450 american dollars so it's on a pretty good sale for the next uh, 20 hours from when I'm recording this. And it's procedurally generated as well, so I guess you're always gonna get a different world whenever you go in. I don't know if it's roguelite style and that is permadeath or anything. I didn't have time to do a whole bunch of research into it because I've been I've been very busy editing for Bob Wolf, The Wolf Den uh, today, so I didn't have a ton of time to look into it. But if this sounded interesting at all to you, I have an affiliate link in the description. Check out the game, and if you buy it through Chrono.gg through my affiliate link, I got a small commission off of that. Metal Gear Solid PC speed runs though. Uh, I am going to learn that run because it seems like a lot of fun to me. For anyone who doesn't know, uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, the, the first one, has a really bad PC port. I believe five people made it and it doesn't work anymore, but there's a fan remake of it that works. And that is kind of the accepted one for speedrun.com is you just use the fan uh, fixed version, which is totally free, by the way, if you just Google it, which is really cool for if any of you have never played Metal Gear Solid before, get the PC version. It actually runs really good now, uh, either than being glitched to hell, but the glitches you're probably not going to run into unless you know what to look for. It's actually a much faster run than uh, the regular like console versions of Metal Gear Solid. I believe world record right now is by Plywood. It's like an hour and one minute on Metal Gear Solid, but on the PC version, a uh, world record holder is probably still plywood, but I think it's like 45 minutes. It's significantly shorter because instead of having to mash through codec calls, you can just hit start and skip them. And uh, there's also even more like out of bounds glitches and stuff you can do to skip sections of the game. If I remember right in the PC speed run of it, I think there's 
uh, two bosses. I think there's mm, three bosses. I think you just fight the second fight with Vulcan Raven. You fight Metal Gear Rex and you fist fight with Liquid. And I, I guess another boss fight if you count the car fight at the end, which I don't know if I really count that. But as far as I can remember, you skipped nearly every boss fight of that game. You skipped massive chunks of the game. In fact, like five minutes in, you're already teleporting to the prison sequence, which if I remember right, is like halfway through the game. Although you do that on the console version as well. There's just a lot more skipping around in the PC version because it is very buggy. In fact, you spend the majority of the PC version um, invincible uh, due to a glitch that you can activate, which is why I believe easy difficulty and extreme difficulty on the PC version. It's like a one minute difference on the world records for those two because it's almost the exact same run as far as I can tell. So I want to learn that because I used to play Twin Snakes a lot, which was the GameCube remake of Metal Gear Solid. I liked that a lot. And I fucked around with the PC version of Metal Gear Solid a bit, and I'm just a sucker for glitched runs. So I think that's going to be my second speedrunning uh, game to learn is uh, the PC version of Metal Gear Solid. Um, I'm going to keep running Silent Hill 2. I think I can get my time a lot better on that. I'm 20th place. I'm like 47, almost 48 minutes um, is my current personal best PB. Whereas world record is 3921, so I can shave off like seven minutes. Although some of that gets very luck dependent and you need to really master the game and everything. I'm not really going for world record. I want to be like top five, top six, and I think I'd be pretty happy with that. I at least want to be top 10 in that. And then I'm going to start doing a Metal Gear Solid PC. Maybe I'll start learning that and running it alongside uh, Silent Hill 2 before I get within the top 10 slots and maybe I'll wait until I get in top 10. I'm not entirely sure, so I don't want to go promising that I'll be running that on stream this week. I want to do some practice off stream just like I did for the previous game. But if you'll excuse me, I'm stifling coughs like you wouldn't believe because I have a bit of a tickle in my throat and chest for the last couple days, and I think I might be getting a chest infection, which really impacts my job. So um, I'll try and keep you guys up to date on my Twitter <clears throat> on how I feel. As always, I am very, very active on Twitter, which is linked in the description, and I try to reply to tweets whenever you guys tweet at me. Thank you so much, everybody, for your continued support, and until next time, have a nice day.